What does it mean to live by the code of the samurai? To answer that, we must travel back in time to the 10th century during the Heian period in Japan. This period marked a significant transformation in Japan's social structure, giving birth to the samurai class. The Heian period was a time of peace, prosperity, and cultural advancement. However, it was also a time of political instability, with powerful clans vying for control over the land. The emperor and his court, ensconced in the capital city of Heian Kyo, modern-day Kyoto, often found themselves distanced from the realities of the provinces. To maintain control over these distant lands, the nobility needed a reliable force, a class of warriors who could protect their interests and maintain peace. As a result, the samurai emerged. The term samurai translates to those who serve, reflecting their initial role as the armed supporters of the nobility. The samurai weren't just soldiers, they were landowners, administrators, and above all, the guardians of peace. Their primary duty was to their daimyo or feudal lord, whom they served with unwavering loyalty. This relationship between the daimyo and samurai was not merely transactional, it was a bond of honor and duty, a cornerstone of the samurai code. The samurai didn't rise to prominence overnight, it was a gradual process, shaped by centuries of warfare and political maneuvering. Over time they evolved from low-ranking public servants into a distinct powerful warrior class. Their influence extended beyond the battlefield, permeating every aspect of Japanese society. Their evolution was also shaped by the adoption of a strict code of conduct, known as Bushido, or the way of the warrior. This code, which emphasized virtues such as loyalty, honor and bravery, became the guiding principle for the samurai, shaping their actions and defining their identity. Thus began the era of the samurai, a class defined by their martial prowess and a strict code of conduct. Their story is a testament to the power of discipline, the importance of honor, and the enduring influence of a code that continues to inspire even today. The samurai were not just warriors, they were adherents of a strict ethical code known as Bushido. This code of conduct, literally translating to the way of the warrior, was more than a set of rules. It was a philosophical guide, a beacon that illuminated the path of life for these formidable warriors. Bushido was built on the bedrock of four core principles, loyalty, honor, self-discipline, and bravery. These virtues were not just ideals to strive for, they were a way of life, a breathing testament to the samurai spirit. Loyalty was paramount. It was an unwavering commitment to one's master or daimyo, a fervent dedication to the feudal system. The samurai were expected to serve their lords faithfully, even if it meant laying down their lives, this level of loyalty was not just about duty, it was about an unflinching resolve to honor commitments, come what may. Honor and integrity were the soul of the samurai. They believed that their honor, or the honor of their family name, was of greater value than life itself. Any failure to uphold this honor could lead to shame, and in extreme cases, the ritual suicide known as seppuku, or harakiri. This was a grim yet stark reminder of the lengths a samurai would go to preserve their honor. Self-discipline was the thread that held the fabric of Bushido together. It was about control, not just in the heat of battle, but in the quiet moments of life. It was about mastering the mind, about cultivating a mental resilience that was as formidable as their physical strength. And then, there was bravery. The samurai were warriors after all, but their bravery was not just about facing the enemy on the battlefield, it was about facing life, about standing up to challenges with a courage that was as unyielding as their legendary swords. Bushido was more than just a code, it was the way of life for the samurai. It was a testament to their spirit, their values, and their indomitable resolve. It was the essence of what it meant to be a samurai. The samurai were not only warriors but also masters of various martial arts. Their training was rigorous, demanding both physical prowess and mental discipline. They honed their skills in Kenjutsu, the art of the sword, Kyujutsu, archery and Jujutsu, a form of unarmed combat. But it wasn't just about wielding a weapon, it was about understanding the mind of the opponent, anticipating their moves, and strategizing accordingly. Their martial prowess was deeply intertwined with their spiritual practice. They followed the Zen Buddhist teachings, which helped them achieve a state of calm and focus in the midst of battle. This spiritual grounding not only enhanced their combat skills, but also influenced their approach to life, instilling a sense of discipline, resilience, and respect for every living being. But the samurai's influence extended beyond the battlefield. They were also patrons of art and culture, 
contributing significantly to the aesthetic landscape of feudal Japan, they practiced and promoted tea ceremonies, a ritual that encapsulated the ideals of harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. These ceremonies were not just about brewing and drinking tea, they were a form of meditation, a way to cultivate mindfulness and inner peace. Alongside tea ceremonies, the samurai also had a hand in the development of calligraphy, transforming it into an art form. Their strokes were not just about writing characters, they were an expression of their inner state, a reflection of their discipline and concentration. Moreover, they played a crucial role in the evolution of traditional Japanese theater forms like no and kabuki. These theatrical performances were not just about entertainment, they were a reflection of society, encapsulating themes of heroism, honor, and the transient nature of life. The samurai were not only fierce warriors but also patrons of art and culture. Their mastery in martial arts and their cultural contributions provide a fascinating glimpse into the multifaceted nature of the samurai, revealing them as not just warriors but as philosophers, artists, and cultural influencers. With the end of the feudal era the samurai's role began to change dramatically. As Japan opened its doors to the West during the Meiji Restoration in the late 19th century, the country underwent a significant transformation. This period marked a shift from a feudal society to a more modern industrialized nation, and with this shift came the decline of the samurai. The Meiji government was eager to adopt Western ways, including a modern Western-style military. This new order was vastly different from the feudal system where the samurai had thrived. The samurai class, once the backbone of Japanese military and society, found itself becoming obsolete. The government replaced the samurai, who were beholden to their lords with a conscripted army, loyal to the state. This change signaled the end of the samurai's traditional role as military nobility. In 1873, the government issued an edict to abolish the samurai class altogether. Samurai were no longer allowed to carry swords, their most distinguishing feature, and the symbol of their status. The ban on swords was more than just a practical measure. It was a symbolic gesture, a clear indication that the age of the samurai was over. But the samurai did not disappear quietly into the annals of history. Some resisted the changes, leading to rebellions like the Satsuma Rebellion of 1877. However, these uprisings were quashed, further cementing the samurai's decline. Despite the abolishment of the class, many samurai found new roles within the changing society. Some became bureaucrats, educators or entrepreneurs, bringing their discipline, loyalty and other Bushido values to these new professions. Others chose a path of art and literature, preserving and passing on the samurai culture and traditions. And so, while the samurai class was officially abolished, the spirit of the samurai did not simply vanish. Their values and ethos, crystallized in the code of Bushido, continued to influence Japanese society, shaping its identity even as it modernized. The samurai class may have ended, but their spirit lived on. Even in the face of dramatic societal changes, the impact of the samurai is still felt today, a testament to their enduring legacy. Despite their decline, the legacy of the samurai is still alive and well today. The image of these noble warriors has permeated literature, films, and popular culture, serving as a testament to their enduring influence on Japanese society and values. In literature, the samurai are often depicted as heroic figures who embody the virtues of Bushido. They are portrayed as stoic, honorable warriors who value duty and loyalty above all else. This portrayal is not limited to Japanese literature alone. Western authors too have been fascinated by the samurai, often using them as a symbol of bravery, honor, and self-discipline. The silver screen has also played a significant role in immortalizing the samurai. From Akira Kurosawa's epic films to Hollywood productions, the samurai have been depicted as both tragic heroes and ruthless warriors. These portrayals have not only entertained millions worldwide, but have also contributed to the understanding and appreciation of samurai culture and the Bushido code. Beyond literature and films, the influence of the samurai extends to various aspects of popular culture. From video games and comic books to fashion and art, the samurai aesthetic is unmistakable. The samurai's distinct armor, their katana swords, and their code of honor have all become iconic elements that continue to captivate audiences around the globe. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of the samurai is their influence on Japanese society and values. The principles of Bushido, such as loyalty, honor, and integrity, are still highly valued in Japan today. 
These principles have shaped the country's social norms, business practices, and even its educational system. The samurai may have faded into history, but their code, their values, and their spirit continue to inspire us even today.